Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Thoki Doki. Thank you for all the support from my previous video where, where I talked about modifying my Keychron Q1 to reduce that ping while still maintaining that flex. So because of that support from the keyboard community, I decided to make another episode. And so today, we will discuss one of the crowd favorite in the linear switches, the Duroc Palms. So as a background, I started this hobby using um, low-profile Gatron Red switches, which were okay, but I had problems with accidental actuations. So while I was doing my editing work, my photo editing work, uh, it became too annoying. So I shifted to Browns, and then eventually GHPs, Glorious Holy Pandas, and then eventually Boba U4Ts. So I've been a tactile guy for half of this journey. Which is amazing, the tactile switches are amazing and I still use them now. I rotate my boards between the linears and the tactiles. But uh, since a month ago, a month or two months ago, I've been introduced to linear switches and they are awesome. So today, I will be discussing to you my thoughts on the Duroc Poms, okay? Um, I will not discuss the technical details. There are a lot of other reviews on the technical details. I will focus on what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and my final thoughts. Is it worth it? Is it a good switch? Okay. And of course, along the way, I will be comparing them to my gateway linear switches, the Yellow Pro and the Gatron SMD Pro. Okay. The Duroc Palms are linear switches with a 62, 62.5 gram actuation force. It's a long stem, clacky linear switch. It has a clacky sound profile, which is not my typical build since I am a thocky guy. Isn't it obvious? The thocky docky. Okay. So, uh, but I wanted to try it out. So I'm really curious how the thocky, the clacky, the clacky profile sounds and how the experience is overall. Out of the box, the Duroc Palms are okay. You will hear the clack. Um, it's a bit smooth. Okay. Um, for a stock and dry switch, it's actually smooth, but there's some scratchiness to it. But it was an underwhelming experience for me. Okay, and what made the experience underwhelming was the enormous amount of ping coming from the leaf or the springs in some, in some, but not all of the switches that I got. That was bad, right? Kind of reminded you of the Q1 stock form, right? That's how the Q1 sounded with the ping, tung, 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 like that, okay? So um, I tried it out for a couple of days dry and it's really, it's okay. It feels nice, sounded bad. That's my initial thought, okay? So if you want a quick impression, feels nice, sounded bad, okay? Um, but after lubing it, oh my God, it's a night and day difference. The sound was awesome, the feeling was much better, and that clacky sound kind of grew on me. So I'll show you a sound test of the Lube, the Rock Palms on my KVD67 light, and here it is. Sounds nice, right? So, how does it compare? How does it compare to my other favorite linear switches, which is the Gatron Milky Yellow Pro and the Gatron Yellow Pro SMD version? 
be honest, um, in terms of smoothness and uh, that buttery feel that you want in a linear switch, it's not that far. Uh, the Duroc palms do feel a tad bit smoother, a little bit more buttery, but not really that much. For those starting out in the hobby, I don't think you'd be able to tell that difference that much. But the deeper you get into this rabbit hole, you'd feel that there's a difference. Okay. Uh, in terms of the sound profile, um, if you want the talkie build, the Milky Pro, the Milky Yellow Pro, would still be my go-to switch. Um, it's smooth, it's talkie, the sound profile is deep and talkie, and it's cheap. Okay. If you want a clacky build, and you have the cash to spare, the Duroc Palms, it's amazing. So I've been loving it for a few days now on my Keychron Q1 using the aluminum plate. It accentuates the clack a little bit more compared to the more muted FR4 and PC plate. Um, is the price worth it? It depends on you. Okay, so as with everyone in this hobby knows, uh, it all boils down to personal preference. So you want a smooth, end game, clacky, linear switch, the Duroc Palms might be the one for you. But if you want to just try out linears and see how it goes, Gatron Yellow Pro. At one third the price of the Palms, you can't go wrong with it. And if you factor in the price, I would say that these Yellow Pros are more value for money compared to the Duroc Palms. So basically that's it. So it's a good switch. Stock is underwhelming, but you lube it up, it's really good. The Yellow Pros are still my number one pick if you're starting out with the hobby and especially if you want a talky build. The Rock Palms, smooth, buttery, clacky. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you learned a lot. Please do like and subscribe. Talkie Doki signing out.